Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 10 of my survival mode let's play and uh, episode 2 since we started the Dawnguard questline DLC. Uh, we are on our way up to Castle Volk here with uh, Serana in our uh, company now. She's just uh, sat over here having a uh, mead. Um, we, we, yeah, we stopped off in Morthal, didn't we? Um, in my rush to get to Morthal, I actually left our horse up on uh, the mountain <laughs> outside Dim Hollow Crypt. So uh, what I've actually done is I've been and picked up my horse before I started filming um, because he wasn't, I checked, he wasn't in the stable or anything. So uh, yeah, he is uh, now sat out here ready and waiting for us to uh, yeah carry on with our uh, journey up to uh, yeah Volker here so uh, let's uh, crack on and get on with that I think what I'm gonna do as well is now that we're in Morthal um, I'd quite like to do the uh, laid to rest quest the reason why I'm not starting it now is it's 10.38 in the morning and you it actually needs to be night time to uh, do a portion of that quest so what i'm thinking is if we carry on the journey up here to uh, yeah lead serana to her home it should hopefully be night time when we get back and it'd be good to do that quest um because we can then start the journey to become thane of uh, hjalmarch and we can also uh, get the uh, one of the um what are they called? The Halffire Homes, sorry, the one that's, is it Winstad Manor? I think, no. Is it Winstad Manor? I can't remember the name now. The one that's up here. Um, that'd be quite good. Uh, I do quite like that quest, actually. Um, so, yeah, that'd be a good one to do. I did it recently on my uh, uh, the build guide that I put out on Sunday. What I did actually get as well is, it's not that important, but on my way back after I picked the horse up, I got given uh, this uh, by a courier yeah, on the way back. Uh, this is just the invitation to begin the Mythic Dawn quest. Um, do you know the one where you get the uh, Dagger of Mayrun's Dagon? It's, it is actually a really good quest, that. Um, probably not one that we'll do just yet we, we might get to it eventually sorry um, yeah I just don't think we'll do it right this very second but you know, what's this oh the, yeah, the apprentice stone uh, we do not need that I really use the apprentice stone Never really found a use for that one. If we got here, our chorus. Best to uh, just take care of this. Oh no, the horse is going to get involved. What are you doing? Lots of Reaper as well. That's not good. The uh, Reapers are actually uh, quite nasty. So get him. Right, let's carry on. Feels like it's been a while since I um since I've actually filmed an episode of this, it's probably nearly. Oh god, it's really it's nearly two weeks, isn't it? Yeah, the um, 
last week was a bit of a write-off to be honest I was kind of focused on getting my, my build guide finished anyway but I've ended up with I had some quite big deadlines to do last week I've got one this week but it's I'm nearly done with it I ended up working a few evenings last week so it put me back a few days um, so yeah I'm actually I was really looking forward to getting back into this tonight I think I'll do, I'll probably try and do a um, Last of Us Let's Play as well tomorrow and get that out. I'd quite like to get that done to be honest, that one. Uh, it hasn't been as popular as I was kind of hoping, but uh, which way is Dragon Bridge this way? I'll go through here. Um, I would quite like to yeah, just get it done because it's quite a linear game. I just want to get the walkthrough finished for it. Um, I've been keeping relatively close to what's been going on with the the updates and how people are coping with the game. It seems to be that some people are still having issues with it, but a lot for a lot of people it seems to have turned a corner now. So now that if there's going to be more people playing it, I'd want to kind of just get it done rather than just having it semi-finished. I mean, I've only done two episodes for now, so I need to. I do need to get get it done, really. Who are these two here? Uh, it's probably vigilantes, aren't they? Vigilant of Stendar. You start. You start to see these like dotted around. Um, now that we've started the Dawn Guard. I think we're near the Thalmor Embassy, aren't we? That around here somewhere. Oh, I wanted to, um, I'm just... I wanted to stop off at the alchemist in Morphal and see if she had any fire salts to make some hot soup before I did this journey because it is ridiculously cold on this shoreline isn't it? We might have to be quick. Don't really want that snow bear to see me. Just the right way. Oh yeah, we can go down there. Oh no, ice wraiths. Try and avoid them if we can. We have been up this way already, haven't we? Did we come up here? Yeah, we came up here with when we did the um, the Grey Main quest line to rescue uh, Aval Avalstein, wasn't it? race everywhere. This, uh, oh, there's Volcare down there. Have, we got, have I gone too far? How can we get down here? Can't quite remember where the roads are on this part of the map. Don't think we're getting down there, are we? Or oh, we might be able to. I mean, horses are very good climbers. Oh yeah, this is a. Uh, this is plenty shallow, shallow enough for a uh, Skyrim horse. 
Yeah, this um this part of the map's so much more beautiful when it's not snowing. on his island to tend into his uh, crops is that a fox in the water <laughs> not really thought about what um, what we're going to do when we get inside, I think we will side with the Dawn Guard. I think that's probably the uh, the choice that Imposter Ralph would make. He definitely doesn't feel like a uh, a vampire lord, does he? Thanks for asking. I wanted to thank you for getting me this far, but after we get in there, I'm going to go my own way for a while. I think. I know your friends would probably want to kill everything in here. I'm hoping you can show some more control than that. Once we're inside, just keep quiet for a bit. Let me take the lead. Lady Serrano's back! Open the gate! <laughs> This guy, Watchman. What a what a job he's got. Do you reckon he found it on a uh, LinkedIn? I think they have a high turnover of Watchmen. Uh, the uh, the last three hundred of them have all been eaten. Serana, is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. My lord, everyone. Serana has returned. I guess I'm expected. I can't believe it. My long lost daughter returns at last. I trust you have my Elder Scroll. After all these years, that's the first thing you ask me? Yes, I have the scroll. Of course, he I'd has like the scroll. to see you, my daughter. Must I really say oh, nice. What a, um, what a welcoming place this is. I would let her watch this reunion before putting her head on a spike. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? This is my savior, the one who freed me. For my daughter's safe return, you have my gratitude. Tell me, what is your name? Uh, I am Imposter Raloff. Who are you? I am Harkon, Lord of this court. By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Uh, you're... <laughs> you're a reclusive cannibal cult. Uh, it's, I think it's pretty obvious what they are, isn't it? You are vampires. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Uh, do I get a reward for finding your daughter? I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly <laughs> deserve a reward. I think we know where this is going. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. 
It sounds it sounds uh, wonderful, doesn't it? Uh, and if I refuse your gift, then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Behold the power! That I offer now. Make your choice. They do look pretty uh, badass, don't they? For uh, vampires. Um, I don't want to become a vampire. I refuse your gift. So be it. You are prey, like all mortals. I banish you. Uh, right, so that uh, completes that part of the quest line, and we uh, leave without Serana now. Uh, but it, um, yeah, it won't be too long before we uh, we meet her again. So let's uh yeah let's get out of the cold shall we. Yeah so it is the afternoon now so we should we might actually time this quite well if we can make it back to Morsel. Yeah we'll do laid to rest and then we can we can head off back down to uh, back down towards uh, Fort Dawnguard. Uh, we do need to actually stop off in Riften as well, don't we? Because we need to uh, go back t uh, to the uh, what's she called Din Dinya in the Temple of Mara to complete the first stage of the Book of Love quest. I think that's it. I can't. I don't think there's anything else we were part way through, were we? Uh, just quickly check my quest log actually so yeah we need to do that yeah we've got quite a lot going on give the lexicon to Septimus we're probably not going to be going up that way for a while um, no I don't really want to do Hendraheim we could pick up that at some point where is Hendraheim actually in relation to where we are it's down here isn't it oh no yeah what we'll do is we'll do Hendraheim when we do the book of love quest because the third stage of it is like over here somewhere isn't it so we can tick that off at the same time That um, ship over there is the gateway to uh, the um, the boathouse, isn't it? The one that's over on the island. I can't remember the name of it now. Mine's gone blank. It's a shame it's so remote, that house. Um, it's, yeah, that it's a really cool design. It's just it's yeah it's too out of the way for me to ever really realistically use it as a as an actual home. The walls. There is a path that leads us up the... We walked past it, was it there? I could go up to this one actually and then come down. 
might have walked walk past the path that goes up. Uh, can't quite remember where it is now. Something there. That was weird. I scaled it. I scaled that tree. Right, we uh, definitely need to get out of here, don't we? Now it's got very cold. Must be nearly evening time. Yeah. The wolf. I like how the screen goes like a sort of bluey hinge um, as you get colder. Uh, soldiers must be cold. Our health has really dropped, hasn't it? Should hopefully now that we're out of that freezing section, it shouldn't drop as quickly. We might. Um, I was going to say we might warm ourselves up in Dragon Bridge, but it, the sun's out now. And it is. It is warmer, so we should hopefully um, warm up a bit. Oh, there is a fire here actually, we can warm ourselves up. We left. We lost Lydia. I'm expecting her to uh, come running around that corner any second. Unless she, uh, she got uh, preoccupied by the wolves. To Marvel, uh, just to do the later rest, and then is there any, is there a carriage at Marvel actually? I'm hoping I don't know if there is or not because I was hoping we could then get the carriage down to Riften, but we might have to. What is this? We might have to um, carry on the journey to Wyron and then go from there or something. Uh, that is not going to happen. Uh, walk away right now. Nice try, but you don't scare me. I'm not going to ask again. Uh, I'd rather die. Guess that's your last request. Come on, bring bring it on, Argonian. Still. My uh, horse was doing his. Um, best to try and get an arrow then. What's he got? Not a lot. Oh, that was a uh, disappointing haul. Oh, 
far from Moth, are we now? Ah, oh, not too far. For some reason I thought that dog was the, um... I can't remember, is it Miko? The one... Uh, the Daedric quest dog, but that's I've uh, I realised that's um, Falkreath, isn't it? Where you do that, you get asked um, as soon as you enter Falkreath by the guards, don't you? Whether you, whether you've seen a dog on the road, and then if you speak to is it Lord the blacksmith, he'll then ask about it as well. I think the dog's called Miko. It's actually um, it's a good. He's a great follower to get actually because he can't die, can he? Because he's a and he's classed as an essential NPC. So as long as you, if you don't complete the quest, you can keep him, and then he's um, yeah, he's like great to have around. back now so we're gonna go uh, I'll try the alchemist actually if he's still open should be uh, let's just see if we can pick up any fire, uh, fire salts Jorgen and I both work I don't get many customers but that leaves me time to try things out ah, so you're an alchemist then uh, I am indeed an alchemist right what have we got going on ingredients Blue Mountain Flower, three fire salts, 143 apiece, wow. Uh, but what I could actually do is, what ingredients do we have? Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a wheat, a giant's toe, and a creep cluster Aye. and we're just going to quickly make them over here uh, where is the giant so we've gone past it which makes a potion of fortify health and then I'm going to sell her the potion of Aye. fortify health so and then we're going to buy the fire salts What do we get for it? 217. So it's better than nothing, isn't it? We don't anything else we can get rid of. Yeah, we are carrying quite a lot of potions, aren't we? But I feel like we need them. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. At least we've um we've recouped some of the cost. Anything else she's got worth having? I might have the other wheat actually and the blue mountain flower. Until next time. Uh, and then we can just make one potion of health. I'll do. Right. Huh? There's not a story moth, is there, that you can buy and sell things? I think I've got quite a lot I need to sell, a lot of um, gem, uh, like amethyst and gems. Yeah, we have quite a lot that we need to get rid of, don't we? Alright, we're gonna, we'll go and ask about the, uh, the burned down house. Look so good. Are you feeling all right? Oh no, have we picked up a uh 
Oh yeah, we picked... Oh, vampirism. When did we pick that up? Yeah, right, that should hopefully be gone now yet. There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to spend the night, I'll rent you a room. Uh, is there a story behind that burned down house? Rogar's house? It burned down not too long ago. It's a real pity about his wife and kid. The screams woke half the town. Most folk won't go near it now for fear it's cursed. How did the fire start? Rogar claims it was a hearth fire. Some folks say Rogar started it himself. With his own wife and child inside? That's what they say. See, he's living with Alva now. That started the day after the fire. It ain't right moving in with a new love the day after your kin die like that. And of course they can't prove he murdered them. Aye. Our Jarl would sure like to know if he did though. Might even pay to find out. Uh, okay, so Good we day. can now talk to uh, the Jarl and find out a little bit more about the what happened. Morthal used to be a quiet place, but then the world used to make sense. Yarl Idgrod Ravencrone. That's a mouthful, isn't it? So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. Welcome. I hear you want someone to look into that house fire. Rogar's house fire? Well, he lost his wife and daughter in the blaze. My people believe it to be cursed now. Who am I to gainsay them? What does Hrogar say happened? Hrogar blames his wife for spilling bear fat in the fire. Many folk think he set the fire himself. Why would he do that to his own family? Lust can make a man do the unthinkable. The ashes were still warm when he pledged himself to Alpha. So why haven't you arrested him? On rumor and gossip? No. But you, a stranger, might find the truth for us. Sift through the ashes that others are too fearful to touch. See what they tell you. Should you prove him guilty or innocent, I will reward you. Uh, right, so that is... That basically starts the quest. It is 7.39, so we're a little bit... I think we're a little bit early. Um, but we can... I guess we could just wait an hour or two. Who's there? Is that you, father? Uh, so this is the uh, the ghost of the daughter. <laughs> Quite grim, actually. Uh, Helgi's ghost. Hmm. Who are you? father says I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Are you a stranger? Uh, is Sroga your father? You know him? He made my favorite dolly, but I can't find her. Are you sure you aren't a stranger? Uh, no, I'm a friend. Do you know what happened to your house? The smoke woke me up. I was hot and I was scared, so I hid. Then it got cold and dark. I'm not scared anymore. But I'm lonely. Will you play with me? Uh, if I do, will you tell me who set the fire? Okay, let's play hide and seek. You find me, and I'll tell you. We have to wait for nighttime, though. The other one is playing too, and she can't come out until then. Uh, the other one? What do you mean? I can't tell you. She might hear me. She's so close. If you can find me first, I can tell you. It's uh, it's really quite dark Skyrim, isn't it, sometimes? I'm now, uh, we were on 
what felt like a pretty, well, I won't say harmless quest because it's like the vampire one, but some of the quests are pretty harmless and now we suddenly find ourselves playing hide and seek with a dead girl. Um, <laughs> that is uh, Skyrim for you. Uh, so I'm going to wait. Um, I'll go inside actually in case it gets cold because I don't want to... If I know what will even, be even better it will be is if we sleep. Because then we'll bypass being tired through the night. There ain't much to offer, but if you want a place dry to I saw Helgi's ghost. A room. The poor child is probably begging for us to string up her murdering father. Best tell the Jarl. Yeah, you don't have to go back and do that, by the way. Um, I'd like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. So we'll sleep for a few hours and then we'll finish the quest. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh, that's uh, Alva, isn't it? You, the handsome one. You and I should spend some time together. Alright, let's go find where Helgi is hiding. Laylet the Vampire. Um, so, yeah, three guesses as to where uh, Helge is hiding. Yeah, that's correct. Her coffin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it gets darker. <laughs> Wait, Le you found She's me! Lelot was here. trying to find me too, but I'm She's glad you found me. Lelot was told to burn mommy and me, but she didn't want to. She wanted to play with me forever and ever. She kissed me on the neck, and I got so she's cold that the fire didn't even hurt. Leila thought she could take me and keep me, but she can't. I'm all burned up. I'm tired. I'm gonna sleep for a while now. Uh, I, I was hoping you'd see the um, the text for that, but it didn't come up, and then he was chatting over the top of it. So if you didn't hear it, Helgi basically said. Uh, Laylet was t told to burn mummy and me um, but she didn't want to uh, she wanted to keep me forever uh, she kissed me on the neck and then I felt cold um, she yeah she wanted to keep me forever but she can't I'm all burnt up I'm tired I think I'll sleep now <laughs> uh, which is probably the one of the most disturbing monologues in the entire game so she was basically yeah her and her mom were kit were burnt alive in the house and lay let the vampire but lay let the vampire wanted to keep her so tried to turn her but it was too late she's dead lay let is dead uh, this guy who came up to the Coffin is Th uh, Thonia. He was Laylet's husband. Uh, what can you tell me about your wife? Laylet. I thought she left to join the Stormcloaks. Oh, my poor Laylet. Did you notice anything strange before she left? She began to spend a lot of time with Alva. Yet just a week before, she despised her. In fact, the night she disappeared, she was supposed to meet Alva. Alva told me later that she never showed up. I never got to tell her goodbye. I think they may have met after all. You think Alva? But that means... Ye gods, you think Alva is a vampire? 
It's a possibility we can't ignore. No, you're wrong. You must be wrong. Leolet may have met her fate out in the marsh. I refuse to believe Alba had anything to do with this. There is no way you can prove it to the Jarl. I hope Alba is not what you think. So, yeah, so it looks like uh, Alva turned Leolet. Uh, told Thonia that she'd never that she'd ran off, but actually, yeah, she turned her, and then uh, yeah, ordered Leolet to kill. Um, Can't wait to cut one of those the weapons. yeah the family, so she could basically be with the husband. <laughs> I'll wait for this eye to disappear. Right, there we go. So now we have to try and find evidence that uh, Alva is actually a vampire. Oh, he's in the house. This is... I hate it when he's in the house because then he just attacks you. Can we get past him? Someone there. Oh. Lydia's going to kill him now. Brilliant. At least we don't have to do it. Alva's journal. My life is dreary. Where, where is my prince to come rescue me? Where is my bold Nord warrior to sweep me off my feet? I met a man today when picking night flowers. He is exciting and exotic. We kissed in the moonlight. It was so romantic. I'm going to see him again tonight. Now I understand the true colours of the night. Movarth has shown me the true black of night and the true red of blood. He has promised me a feast of blood if I do his bidding in mortal. Hrogar was easy to seduce. Movarth said I should find a protector first, someone to watch over my coffin during the day. Hrogar is perfect. Ah yeah, so she wasn't looking for Hrogar to be with. She was just, yeah, using, using him basically. It was Movarth that she's actually uh, with. Leilek came to visit me tonight. She slaked my thirst. I've hidden her away to let her rise as my handmaiden. I've spread the rumour in town that she left to join the war, fools. Movarth has confided his grand plan to me. I am to seduce the guardsmen one at a time and make them my slaves. Then he and the others from the coven can descend upon Morthal and take the entire town. We won't kill them. They will become cattle for our thirst, an endless supply of blood, and an entire town to protect us from the cursed sun. Krogar's family is becoming inconvenient. I've told Leilet to kill them all, but make it look like an accident. Krogar must be seen as innocent if he is going to be my protector. That little fool. Leilet burned Krogar's family alive. I asked for an accident and she gave me a scandal. To make matters worse, she tried to turn his little girl, Helgi, Except Leilet couldn't even get that right. She killed the child and left the body to burn. Something is wrong with Leilet. She keeps talking about Helgi. I think her mind has snapped. She seems to think that the child can still be brought back to be her companion. There is a stranger in town looking into the fire. I'll have to be careful. Uh, wow. And now to uh, top it all off, Lydia has killed uh, Hrogar, so um, yeah, we may as well, I mean, we may as well rob him now, He's, he doesn't need any of his stuff, does he? Take the key as well, for your free, uh, bed to sleep in. Could uh, nick all his stuff as well. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Lydia's uh, busted again. Oh, she's back to normal now. We'll wake the Jarl up. Is Hrogar innocent or not? Alva set the fire. She's the murderer. Alva? Huh. Didn't think she had it in her. Actually, she's a vampire. She planned to enslave the town. I assume you have proof? Can't go making accusations like that without proof. Uh, I have Alva's journal. So it's true, the traitorous bitch. Morthal owes you a debt. Here, you were promised a reward for solving the crime, but I need one more favor from you. Morthal is still in danger. The journal mentions Movarth, a master vampire I thought was destroyed a century ago. I'll gather together some able-bodied warriors to clean out Movarth's lair. They'll be waiting outside for you to lead them. Uh, right, so yeah, let's go kill uh, a vampire. Take us to Movart's lair. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is um, it's why I quite like this quest. It's the story's very good. Any of the quests that have a like a brilliant sort of backstory to them, I do tend to enjoy. in first person actually because I find it a lot easier doing archery. him down. What a shame. All these bodies. Going to... Uh... You think they'd notice all these people that were missing? I mean, Morthal's not exactly a populous place, is it? So I always think about Skyrim, it's like the mortality rate is, must be enormous. It's like, how are all the, uh, how is everyone not dead? Every, every hold you seem to go to is like, got some massacre that's happened. best to uh, take him out at a distance if you can because he is quite I think he does he has some quite powerful magic Nick 
make all this gold. Every uh, little helps. Yeah, there is actually, there's a few more vampires in this area. I think Alva's down here, isn't she? Or sometimes she's down here. But you don't actually have to kill Alva. Yeah, she's there. I think there's one here, isn't there? Yeah. Wow, she got out of that bed quick. Is a is that illusion skill book, which we do not need. Huh? Oh, wow, he's a powerful, uh, powerful one. Sang sanguine sanguinaire vampiris again. Lydia, can you man out of the way? Lydia. God's sake, man. Lydia, move. Are you prepared to die? Lydia is what are you breaking my balls, man? Move out of the way. Oh, Meridia's beacon. I was wondering where we were going to see this. Quite a good haul, actually. A new hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. And I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. We got stuck in here. I 
think that is all of them done uh, for this area. Uh, now that we've killed them all, I'm gonna cure the cure disease. Uh, yeah, cure disease potion. Uh, I didn't want to do it before I knew they were all dead, just in case, knowing my luck, I'll um, contract it again. I don't want to use my ice arrows, actually. Use the steel ones. Tell you. Mother's calling me. It's time for me to sleep now. I'm so tired. Thank you for making her feel better. Oh, this place looks dangerous. <laughs> They're all hanging around outside. It's scary too. And it's full of vampires. They were uh Lots of help. go and uh, finish this quest now and then uh, yeah get off back down to uh, Riften well, look at you. Tamriel is full of wisdom and magic if one is willing to look for it few have their eyes open yeah uh, the master vampire Movarth is dead by the eight I didn't think he could do it now oh, thanks for the uh, vote of confidence Take this as a token of our gratitude. Uh, anything else you need, my Jarl? Uh, so my this is where we can start to become Thane. I showed in my like you could make use recent build guide how easy it is to actually do this. I'm not going to do it now, just because I want to get I want to get down back down to Fort Dawnguard. But we'll do this at some point. Uh, it would be an honor because we don't have the gold to buy the house anyway now. We need you need at least five thousand to start it, don't we? We have five thousand, but it'll it'll rinse us completely. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. Yeah, so What's the best way for us to go? I'm wondering whether it would be easier to go to Catler's farm and then get a coach down to Rifton rather than walking all the way to Whiterun. No, we'll make we'll make the journey to White Run. I think it'll, it's not too much further.
definitely uh, done this journey before, but I thought, haven't we? I remember it getting quite cold last time. It's through, you can cut through Labyrinthian can't you? which is here, but we'll go, we'll go the way we went last time, we'll try and go around. Do need to take a potion actually. And we need to eat as well. Yeah, we do need to actually do, we're running quite low on food, aren't we? Might need to pick up some more vegetable soup actually while we're in White Run. The, uh, the last time we came here, this wasn't, was it, this wasn't burned down, I don't think, was it? And now it is, uh, the vampire attack on uh, the Hall of Stendar has actually happened, or it, it happens, um, it's one of the, it's like quite early on in the level progression. I think it hadn't burned down last time we were here, uh, I could be wrong. I'm not sticking around to have a look at it though, because it uh, we need to get get to where it's warmer. The, uh, the Dawnguard DLC is going to actually take us to the Forgotten Vale, isn't it? Uh, that's probably... Uh, that's probably definitely definitely top five locations for me in this game. I absolutely love it. I like how the... Um, the they almost gave it its own... Um, what's the word? It's got its own like species of animals and plants and everything, hasn't it? It feels like totally like it's been completely like cut off from the rest of Skyrim, um, and almost like uh, yeah, nature's kind of just happened in in silo there, completely apart from everywhere else. gonna go we'll go this way around and raid some of the farms your leaks. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, we won't uh, grab all of it because carry weight might be an issue, but we'll uh, we'll grab some of it at least. Check what's in these uh, barrels as well. Right, while we're here, it's mainly tomatoes I'm interested in. That's got potatoes in it. Sack of flour. Might be the uh, barrels over here actually that've got the tomatoes in. I know some of them do. If not, we'll just uh, grab some in white rum. But Uh, some that had tomatoes in. Maybe it's these ones. Right, it's me again. Who wants all my junk? Adrian, you normally take some of my rubbish. Uh, what have we got that she might want? Dwarven Shield of Magic Suppression. You can take that. Hide Braces of Minor Arch. We're probably never going to use them now. Scaled Braces of Eminent Lockpicking. Vampire armor and boots. I don't know that we know the lockpicking and chaman actually. We might try and uh, learn that. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Divine smile on you, friend. Something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Where are your tomatoes? Everything. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh, you've not got any. Fair enough. 
Uh, right, what can we... All these amulet of Stendars can go. Uh, robes, magicka. Has he got anything worth picking up? Soul gems are always good. We'll have them. Elvis Journal, I don't think we need to keep that anymore, do we? It's pretty uh, dark. Pickpockets Journal. Don't know what that is. Yeah, that's probably everything we're going to get rid of. Do come back. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire, and I'll send someone over. Right. Who? Where are the tomatoes? No one has any tomatoes. This isn't good. Do you have any tomatoes? If it's worth a fine day to you, friend. Take a look. You have one tomato, honestly. Need anything else? Just let me know. How about in these barrels over here? No. You look like someone who can hold their liquor. How about a friendly contest? If it's work you're looking for, hold us. If you need more, depends. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? Now please. Alright, what can we make? Salmon steaks, we have lots of we can do then. Vegetable soup, we can only make one, can't we? Venison shop, venison stew. Stew's probably better, isn't it? And then we've got the hot versions of things. I kind of want to make the hot vegetable soup though, so I'm going to wait until we can actually find some tomatoes. We must have uh, raided <laughs> White Run of all the uh, vegetables beforehand. I think we were yeah, with uh, uh, Carlotta. You need to get some more stock in, please. <laughs> Right, we're going to get the carriage to down to Riften now. To Climb and back, and we'll be off. We might run into some of them lizard folk in Riften. Quite a few of them work the docks there. Not sure why. <laughs> you might run into some of them lizard folk down in Riften. PM. Mm. 
Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benevolence. I helped the young lovers in Iverstead. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love royals and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Uh, does Mara require more of me? I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. So the second... Uh... The second part requires us to go all the way to Markarth, which quite a journey. So we'll uh, we'll do that when we are more over that way. What have we got here a thief. The arrows flying in from everywhere there. Come to see Balamond. Miracles would Please, I need away. but a septum. A septum is all I ask. Is that so bad? I can't take this place anymore. The trees. All the yeah, colors. have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. And please stop talking. Divines bless your kind heart. Yeah, will the shop be open or will it be closed? It's most likely going to be closed at this time. Oh no, it's not. It's still open. That's lucky. Welcome to the party. I have all sorts of interesting. Your shop has a most trade. unusual name. Catchy, isn't it? In my youth, I was a fisherman. I had a beautiful ship named the Brawny Prawn. But the years have a way of creeping. I ended up selling that ship to open this place. Seemed only fitting to name it after her. Well, changed it a bit, I suppose. If I had been smarter, I would have kept my boat. Coming to this city was a big mistake. Uh, Until next time. Maybe he's not open actually, because he's not uh, but if you see anything you not like, selling anything. His wife selling anything. Will be the death of me. No. He spends too much time worrying. Right, well what we'll do now is we'll get down to uh, Fort Dawnguard and then we can progress the next part of the quest on. I think we we get attacked, don't we? Or the fort is under attack when we get up there. So yeah, we'll uh, prepare ourselves.
there's a fishing spot down there. Forgot that was there. Vampires. Quite an impressive uh, spell you've got there, Israel. Look at this. I should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Uh, I have news, but I wouldn't call it good. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. Uh, the vampires were looking for a woman trapped in Dim Hollow. A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? Uh, she wanted to go home, so I took her to her castle. I don't think he's going to be very happy about this, is he? I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. Uh, they also have an Elder Scroll. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll. Uh, I'm lucky I made it out alive. Right. So they have this woman and an Elder Scroll. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. Uh, we have to do something. Well, of course we do. I'm old, not stupid. <laughs> We're just going to need some help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here, but there are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Uh, where can I find the people we need? Right to the point, aren't you? I like not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out in the Reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest Dwarven ruins yet. She'll help us. Might need a little convincing. But she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to tame. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Yeah, right, so... Watch up. It's one in the morning, so I'm going to sleep, and then we'll carry on with the journey. You just uh, stand and watch. Might be an idea to pick up some more bolts if I can as well from here. Let's see what else we've got. Beef and salt. Don't really need any more meat. If 
pheasant breast and salt. Salmon meat and salt. More salt. Oh, a lot of salt. Tomatoes, yes, here we go. Jackpot. It's what we need. Hey, more tomatoes, even better. Hot vegetable soup and vegetable soup. steel bullets yet. We don't have any firewood, do we? I don't know if we can make them yet. Oh, so that's a smelter for a star, not even a forge. Uh, steel bolt or six there. That'll do for now. We'll wait till we've got gunmar and then he'll uh, we can get them more readily. See where Gunmar Gunmar's location is generally it changes. Uh, whereas Serene's is pretty much always the same. So Gunmar's down here now in near Falkreath. Or near Helgen actually. Serene is always up here. So we could actually Wondering whether we come this way to Falkreath where Gunmar is and then we'll work our way up past Marketh to Serene. So what is the best place to go to? Maybe we get the carriage back up to Whiterun and then walk our way down. Then maybe we can do something about this mess. Seems to be snowing in this little bit here. Right, nearly out. Hopefully, our horse hasn't been attacked or run off. Does. Is that more Thalmor? 
not uh, not going to mis- make the mistake I made last time and assume the uh, flame atronic that one of the, that the wizard had cast was one in the wild attack it and then just get uh, <laughs> outnumbered three to one. Pay yet? I'm uh, <laughs> getting a bit carried away. Need a ride? Uh, I'd like to hire your carriage, please. Where do you want to go? Uh, I'm going to take it all the way to Falkreath actually, because that's actually closer, isn't it, to where we need to be? Climb and back, and we'll be off. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from all Rorix. Did you see a dog out there? Oh, this is that guard I, I mentioned earlier about the, um, who asked you about the dog. No, some wolves, but no dogs. Oh, well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. Yes, I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. It's nine o'clock already. Uh, I should probably warm up inside the pub, actually. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. This is an old dis... Right, salmon, steak, and what else have we got going on? Vegetable soup. Staunch protectors, the Imperials. Why, hello there. Handsome man in Falkry. Uh, right, let's. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again. In let's uh, rent a room. Sure thing. Just so we it's can wait right till there. the morning. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Do this one. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Short bones. Handsome man in you to... Oh, you wonderful, it's raining. I feel, uh, I feel like I'm uh, at home in uh, northern England here. <laughs> Damn Stormcloak rebels. Oh, it's still short. We'll wait one hour. Definitely saw the door open then, there we go. A hearty welcome to Falkreath. All of Skyrim's true sons. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a stormcloak. Uh, what have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Uh, mainly looking for people just to take all my stuff that I can't be bothered to carry anymore. Probably gonna, I'm never going to use that. I never use potions a lot picking all that because we don't, we're not going to do da uh, magic. Charge our sword up. Then you'll regret it. Well, now it's not raining anymore. Right, which way is Gunmar? I think he's back here, isn't he? Yeah. 
I'm hoping he's on the ground floor and not the not up in the mountains because the mountains above Falkyrie are a pain to try and get up. He's normally like hunting some sort of bear or saber cat, isn't he? He's up in the mountains. Maybe we'll go this way and then round. He shot my horse. That one's a bear, brilliant. morning, isn't he? This is a. Do not remember this location. Where is this? Silver necklace, note to the authorities. I've heard talk about the dragons but didn't believe it until now. One flew by last week and ever since we have seen him fly back and forth. Well, my wife thinks we should move away or go somewhere else. I told her that would be nonsense as long as we don't bother it, it won't bother us. Still I thought it would be best if we report it to the local authorities. The creature's lair is just south the hill. Wow, so these are... Uh, these... They don't really have much, do they? Is this their, like, house? What's that book under there? Purloined Shadows. Pickpocket book. I think... I do remember this location, actually, but I completely... I've definitely been here before, but I completely forgot this was here. Oh, another bloody bear. any bears left for a gun mar to be hunting. Well, right, here he is. Mind you there. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isran needs your help. Isran needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Uh, we're up against vampires. Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. Uh, we're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the Eight. 
All right, look. I'll consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Sounds like a fair deal. know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Uh, yes, he said to meet him at Fort Dongard. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Okay, so that is uh, Gunmar recruited at least. And it's snowing again, brilliant. <laughs> right, we'll just uh, collect our horse and then I think I'm trying to decide whether to do this next part of the journey up to Markath on foot or it is quite a way isn't it up to Markath we could I don't just want to get the carriages everywhere it's quite a journey that though we could stop off at Handraheim actually, pick ourselves another house up. Yeah, right, where did I leave our horse? Ah, here. I'm glad it's the red one, at least he, uh, at least he stands out. He's like levitating. How are you doing that with your back legs? Seriously uh, impressive strength. I think what we might do is we might stop off at Hendraheim on the way and then do the rest of the journey. Pick ourselves a second house up. down there.
No, we don't. We don't need to. Um, I say so we might go through Falkreef, but I don't think we need to do it. Sure, it's along this road that you find that dog, though. Which I don't really want to do because he's. Um, even though I was saying he's quite a good follower to get, he is quite annoying, and I don't really want to bring him uh, on the Dawnguard quest line with us. A half moon mill, yeah. Uh, these are actually vampires here, aren't they? Uh, vam vampire lumberjacks. Uh, I'm gonna put a quest marker actually just so I. Uh, not that. So I know where we're going. Oh, so it's broader the same direction as the other quest markers, that's good. worth picking up actually a dance in fire volume 7 that is that's a skill book isn't it can't remember which one it is though uh, speech should really leave skill books until you're much much later on but I think while I'm there when when I'm there I'm just like I might as well just pick them up who's that? oh Falmer not Falmer um, what are they called? Force Wall
Enderham's just up here, isn't it, actually? I can't decide which is my uh, favourite anniversary edition house, but this is definitely top three. Advena Shield Hearth. <laughs> nice greeting. Uh, I received your letter. I understand. Make sure we've got a charge in our weapon. Fight or die well. Oh, wow, well, she does hit hard, doesn't she? my horse getting involved. I feel like that wasn't a fair fight. <laughs> oh well. Got a, 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 um, a house carl and a horse attacking her at the same time. Nordic Sword of Scorching. Pretty nice. Some quite quite a lot of stuff. So Advina's note basically explains what, uh, like who she is, um, and kind of the reason why she was looking for a warrior. So when the world was young, things were simpler. It was us or them. We fought to survive, and in death we found glory. Now we fight our own shield sisters and brothers for banners that change with the wind. When I killed Hajarek on the battlefield, I vowed not to take up arms again. I found honour in this choice, but shame in its consequence. The bards do not sing tales of those who die in their homes, slain by time. If I am to see him again, I must stand eye to eye with Tassoon, or with Soon, sorry, on the Whalebone Bridge and earn my place in the Hall of Valour. I miss you, brother. Wait for me in Sovngarde. So she basically found herself probably on different sides of the... Civil War potentially, as with a, a friend, ended up killing them in battle, and then obviously regrets um, what has happened. So, yeah, quite a sad, quite a sad story, really. But her loss is our gain. <laughs> we uh, we can now get Hendraheim, the most incredible Nordic longhouse in Skyrim. I mean, look at this place. Incredible, isn't it? Uh, is that a, a Nordic battle axe? Interesting. I might give. Um, right behind you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. I wonder whether to give. I should probably use this. Actually, shouldn't I? I feel like this is a better weapon. So that does 23 plus 15. That is 20 plus 20 to dragons or 20 plus 10. And what is Lydia already carrying? A sword that just does 32. Oh, and that, which she definitely does not need. I will get rid of that. I'm gonna um You lead, I'll follow. Put that in here. Uh I'm gonna I might actually use the um the Nordic sword of scorching. Yeah, we're gonna use the uh, we're gonna change our sword. Quite like the idea of using this. 
see how quickly the uh, enchantment on it drains. If it's the same as the other sword, we might switch. Now we've got a uh, Hendraheim. Let's carry on our journey up to Marcus. And we can basically follow. We can just follow the road, can't we? It takes us directly there. Today, Skeever. I do like the reach. I feel like it's not um bloody wolves. Uh, I feel like it's one of the areas I don't actually go to that often. I don't really know why. I suppose it is a little bit out of the way, isn't it? Plus it's uh, obviously got the Force Worn, which are, uh, the, uh, some of them are actually quite da dangerous, especially the uh, Briar Hearts. I've uh, been killed by quite a few of them before. We are back in a beautiful Marcus. It's an incredible city, isn't it? Reminds me a little bit of, um, I mean, it doesn't look anything like it, but it reminds me of Helm's Deep. You know how it's sort of like, sort of backed into a, the mountain like probably very uh, easily defensible I 
we've been to Marcus before. Here we are. It's going to say um, whether we need to try and save the woman first in the in the marketplace. Closing the stall. You don't know anything about this house. No. Anyone see you? Releasing you and your dragon? I think I never understand. Oh, I remember. Brother Valerius. He's the, um, the, what's the quest that's to do with him? Oh, it's the one where the, the dead are being eaten, isn't it? Uh, Namira's quest. That's quite that's quite a grim quest as well. Right, here he is. The yeah, angriest wizard in Marcus. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. <laughs> uh, I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Twemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? A bit of a split personality disorder, has not it? Uh, I've been sent by Mara to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Uh, I don't know Feline, sorry, but I'm going to lie and say that I do. Then you know what a beauty she is. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. Uh, you just need to have something to talk about. That's the trouble. I know Feline from the keep, but I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. It's not a simple matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. <laughs> is there anyone who knows what she likes? There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. I'm Calselmo's nephew. I help him around the laboratory. All right, we're going to find out what uh, Feline likes, and then we're going to play uh, love matching. Let me guess. You need a drink. It's the silver front in you. Uh, where is he actually? Oh, he's, he's in Understone Keep. For some reason, I thought he's normally down um, down in Marker. House Carl, remember me killing you is legal. <laughs> nice man. Uh, I've heard you might know what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? Uh, I'd rather not say. Oh, it's not for me. It's for Calcemo. Calcemo? Is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? <laughs> Uh, I'll buy it. 
Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. Ah, I um, I remember why he's in here now, isn't it? Because when you've completed the uh, the quest that changes the uh, Yarl of Marketh, it changes all the pe a lot of the people as well, doesn't it? Uh, deliver poem also she is outside. Yeah, because he said I've been made um, house Carl, which I think happens after um, the diplomatic quest. You have Where is Feline? Oh no, is she like? What is she doing all the way in? Is she in solitude? Okay, that's weird. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. You have saved this land. No, much is uh got somewhere around uh Marketh. Excuse me. Do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Uh, no, I haven't. It seems no one in this city has. I'm with the vigil of Stendar. I believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rights and so forth. Uh, do you need any help? He's actually just about to head on inside. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you find. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually going to go in and start that quest, but uh, yeah, good luck with that. Uh, right, so. Well, that changes things a little bit. Um, I wonder why she is all the way in uh, solitude. She's in the Blue Palace as well, isn't she? Mm, maybe, um, yeah, maybe completing the main quest line changes more things than I uh, thought. So we just need to, we'll go, um, we'll do Serene first and then we can pick that up on the way back, on the way um, back down to Riften. Looks like we've got the uh, Force Warner attacking something. Enjoyed that uh, kill. <laughs> Let's 
further, is it? We're about halfway now, aren't we? My um stop. At, uh, can we get through Calf Wasting actually? Don't know if we can. It's literally just over these mountains. We might have to try and scale them, yeah. I think I'll I think when we've got Serene we'll uh we'll pause this episode. No, we're definitely not getting up there, are we? Mountain goat horses, eh? Get anywhere on a uh, the back of a Skyrim horse. she is and her backpack is normally around here isn't it I think yeah here it is we can bypass some of the dialogue by going in here she's after a gyro yeah she is seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around have you i swear i left it right here uh, yes i have actually mud crabs might have taken it i saw one the other day wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here well, just look around will you uh, isran asked me to find you isran wants me no you must be mistaken made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me... Uh, vampires threaten all of Skyrim. We need your help. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? He's an interesting character, isn't she? Uh, they have an Elder Scroll. I... Well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Isran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. 
I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from someplace. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Uh, here, I've got a dwarven gyro. Take it. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Uh, we're meeting at Fort Dongard. Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. Farewell. Oh, Lydia, what are you doing? Right, let's reset Lydia. Uh, right, now that we've recruited both Isran and Serene, um, I think we'll pause the Let's Play here, um, and then in the next one we'll pick up Feline. Um, I hope we then don't have to go all the way back to Markov to see Kalsema, but I've got a horrible feeling we probably will do, which isn't ideal, because uh, I was hoping to continue... Uh, sorry, complete the second part of that quest on our way back to Riften um, and then return to Isran. So that throws it out of sync a little bit, but yeah, I guess we can cross that bridge. Uh, cross that bridge, sorry, when we get to it, can't we? Um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, thank you for watching episode ten, guys, and I will uh, see you next time.